Scientech Presence, Semtel's Technology Learning Software, Robotics. Robotics is the branch of technology that deals with the design, construction, operation and application of robots and computer systems for their control sensory feedback and information processing. A robot is a mechanical or virtual agent, usually an electromechanical machine, that is guided by a computer program or electronic circuitry. Robots can be autonomous or semi-autonomous, and range from humanoids, such as, Honda Zasimo and Tosi's Topio to industrial robots. Let's start with types of robot. Robots can be classified into two broad categories, that is robot by locomotion and robot by application. First, we discuss about robot by locomotion. The shape of a robot is the most basic approach to define a type, and it is relative with its locomotion system. These type of robots are shown in an animation. Now, robot by application, it is a hybrid system, can be used to perform an application's task. So in this type, we don't care about shape and there are various applications of robots in industry, home and also in military. In robot by locomotion, first is stationary robots. There are various types of stationary robot as we see in animation. We will discuss each, one by one. First we take Cartesian robots. Typical Cartesian robots have three linear axes of freedom, which are perpendicularly oriented at each other. Because of their rigid structure, this type of robots usually offer good levels of precision and repeatability. Next is cylindrical robots. The cylindrical robot has three axes of movement two of which are linear and one is circular. So usually robots of this type can move along Z and Y axis and rotate along Z axis. Cylindrical robot used for specific handling and assembly task or spot welding. Now, spherical robots. Spherical robots, sometimes regarded as polar robots, are stationary robot arms, with spherical or near spherical work envelopes, that can be positioned in a polar coordinate system. Next is SCARA robots. The SCARA acronym stands for Selective Compliant Assembly Robot Arm, or Selective Compliant Articulated Robot Arm. Its SAM was rigid in the Z-axis and pliable in the XY-axis which allowed it to adapt to the holes in the XY-axis. Another one is Articulated Robots. An Articulated Robot is a robot with rotary joints. Articulated Robots can range from simple to jointed structures to systems with ten or more interacting joints. They are powered by a variety of means, including electric motors. Parallel robots. A parallel manipulator is a mechanical system that uses several computer-controlled serial chains to support a single platform or end effectors. Perhaps the best-known parallel manipulator is formed from six linear actuators, that support a movable base for devices, such as flight simulators. Next type of robot by locomotion is wheeled robots, which are most popular among the consumer market. Their differential steering provides low cost and simplicity. Types of wheeled robot are shown in animation. 
we will discuss each, one by one. In this, first is single wheeled. One wheeled robots are extremely difficult to keep balanced, due to the single point of contact with the ground. A single wheel robot could be a cheaper solution for a robot receptionist, who has to work on one floor only. Next is, two wheeled robots. Like one wheeled robots, two wheeled robots are also harder to balance than other types, because they must keep moving to maintain upright. The center of gravity of the robot body is kept below the axle. Usually this is accomplished by mounting the batteries below the body. Next one is, three-wheeled robots. In this robot direction may be changed, by varying the relative rate of rotation of the two separately driven wheels. If both the wheels are driven in the same direction and speed, the robot will go straight. Another one is four-wheeled robots. Four-wheeled robots are more stable than the three-wheel version. Since the center of gravity has to remain inside the rectangle, formed by the four wheels, instead of a triangle. Next is, five or more wheeled robot. The Mars rovers are six-wheeled robots, that navigate across Martian terrain after landing. They are used to examine territory, interesting landmarks and make observations about the surface of Mars. They have a suspension system which keeps all six wheels in contact with the surface. Tracked Robots A tracked vehicle is a vehicle that runs on continuous tracks instead of wheels. Tracked vehicles include, construction vehicles, military armored vehicles and unmanned ground vehicles. The principal design advantages of tracked over wheeled vehicles are that, they are in contact with a larger surface area. Another type of locomotive robot is legged robot. It can be classified into following categories as shown in animation, we will discuss each, one by one. First is one-legged robots. In 1980 and 1993, there was a lot of research in making one-legged robots, at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Leo NXT Hopper and Toyota's robot are the example of the one-legged robot. Next is two-legged robots. Two-legged robots have probably seen the most development dollars, since humanoid robots have been envisioned, since the very beginning of the field. The design of a bipedal passive dynamic walker, begins with the concept of a wheel with spokes. Now, three-legged robots. Three-legged robots are statically stable, since there are three contact points to ground. For a robot to be statically stable, it requires a minimum of three contact points to ground. Now, for legged robots. Four-legged robots have the advantage of being statically stable, when not moving, but require dynamic walking control. Boston Dynamics has developed, a four-legged robot, for D, A, R, P, A, called Big Dog. They claim that this is the most advanced quadruped robot on Earth. Another one is five or six-legged robots. A hexapod robot is a mechanical vehicle that walks on six legs. Since a robot can be statically stable on three or more legs, a hexapod robot has a great deal of flexibility in how it can move. If legs become disabled, the robot may still be able to walk. Robots with lots of legs 
As we can see from nature, centipedes have a great level of traffic ability. The count of legs, as well as the length to width ratio of a creature, can be accounted for this ability. That's why centipedes, along with other creatures, are researched and imitated. Next type of locomotive robot is swimming robots. Swimming robot is an ocean data service provider, it is an autonomous, environmentally powered ocean going platform for gathering and remotely transmitting information about the surface of the ocean, such as water temperature, and the atmospheric conditions above, such as wind speed. Another locomotive robot is flying robots. Flying robots use various kinds of technologies. We will group these robots by their flying system, such as air balloon robots, robots with rotary wings, wing flapping robots and plane robots. Rolling robotic balls. This robot is a pendulum-driven mobile spherical robot, with a fixed axis. The axis is a bit extended to provide place for cameras and other possible hardware, such as sensors, microphones or speakers. Next is modular robots. Modular self-reconfiguring robotic systems or self-reconfigurable modular robots, are autonomous kinematic machines, with variable morphology. Self-reconfiguring robots are also able to deliberately change their own shape, by rearranging the connectivity of their parts. Next is micro-robots. Micro-robotics is the field of miniature robotics in particular mobile robots with characteristic dimensions less than 1 mm. The term can also be used for robots, capable of handling micrometer-size components. Another one is snake robots. A snake arm robot is a slender hyper-redundant manipulator. The high number of degrees of freedom, allows the arm to snake along a path, or around an obstacle, hence the name is given as, snake arm. Now, we move to see, classification of robots, based on their application. First is industrial robots. An industrial robot is defined as, an automatically controlled, reprogrammable, multi-purpose manipulator, programmable in three or more axes. Typical applications of robots include, welding, painting, assembly, pick and place, product inspection, and testing. Domestic Robots This type of robots includes quite different devices such as, robotic vacuum cleaners, robotic pool cleaners, sweepers, gutter cleaners and other robots, that can do different chores. Also, some surveillance and telepresence robots could be regarded as household robots, if used in that environment. Next is medical robots. Medical robots are robots, that allow surgeons greater access to areas under operation, using more precise and less invasive methods. They are most telemanipulators, which use the surgeon's actions on one side, to control the effectors on the other side. Another one is military robots. This type of robots includes bomb disposal robots, different transportation robots, reconnaissance drones. These robots initially created for military purposes, can be used in law enforcement. 
search and rescue and other related fields. Next is space robots. Space robots used on the International Space Station, Conodum, that was used in shuttles, as well as Mars rovers and other robots used in space. Another type is hobby and competition robots. These are the robots that you create, such as, line followers, sumo bots, Robots made just for fun and robots made for competition.